What's up YouTube? Back at it again this time. We are doing an upgrade to the Corvette because um, I am actually running uh, out of uh, amperage. Um, the battery alternator cannot keep up with the Pro Speed fans that I actually installed in there um, to keep the car cooler. In the summertime with the AC on, I couldn't even turn on the AC. So uh, now, <clears throat> as you guys uh, saw, I upgraded the cooling system, the actually uh, the radiator to the Mishimoto made a huge difference. So now um, I'm actually uh, having the issue while idling. It's, it's climbing, I think it's getting up to like 205, 207 max. Um, and that's not even a really hot day. So, uh, and that's because of the, the voltage. It's, it just drops below 13, like getting real close to 12. <clears throat> so, uh, for that issue, I actually went with the, that's right, Eggman. Nothing but the best. So I did that. Here's the alternator. I went with the black billet. And um, this thing is sweet. Comes with instructions, everything you need. Um, here's the, the part number in case anyone's interested. B1396924B. And um, see the at idle is 118 amps at cruising 1800 rpm is 264 amps so that's pretty sweet and uh comes with a a terminal that you can use but uh for this upgrade i actually went a, went ahead and uh purchased a big three upgrade as well and um i actually purchased this from a separate vendor uh I actually I found it where they they pre-make them uh, they make everything just ready to install like if it's factory <clears throat> which is uh, sagcitycorvette.com and um, I went with them and uh, as you guys, you guys can see right here they give you your ground cables they give you the main cables so this is really thick electrical wire <laughs> so uh, pretty heavy too solid and uh, as you guys can see is a c6 big three upgrade from sac city corvette.com comes with a 100 amp fuse and uh, everything's pre-wired pre-cut pre-crimped it's got numbers that'll let you know exactly where everything goes um, so it's a pretty sweet little deal see it on their website itself you see you got one which everything's labeled and then you got two where the cable goes to and then three fuse block and everything else and where everything goes goes connected so um, it's pretty self-explanatory and uh, as you guys can see and let's go ahead and uh, get started and start installing this first off I started by removing tension on the belt this is a 15 mil right here push it that way take the belt off and uh, Here's the alternator. So, so I kind of start moving everything around already, looking into it. So alternator's just held on by one, two bolts is what I see. So uh, I'm gonna start taking these bolts out, removing the alternator, and then you got uh, your power here and uh, your plug. So I'm actually gonna disconnect the battery, take, take off the negative side and uh, I don't wanna short anything out. So that was a 13 mil and uh, both front bolts are 15 mils. So I broke them loose already. Just need to take them off. All right, there it is, that is out. Pop this bottom line. It's actually smaller, fits right in. Cool. Let's pull the other way. <clears throat> All right. 
was nice and tight on there. And let's go ahead and uh, plug this in. Perfect. And uh, we're gonna route the big three upgrade. All right, guys, so the big three upgrade. You do not need to remove the stock wiring. This is a add-on uh, wire, so they go by numbers. Number one goes connected there, which is uh, just the extra cable that goes over there to the battery. This is part of the actual module, the fuse block. So it goes to number one, then number two, here to the battery. You see how it just connects to it? Number three goes to the fuse block. All right, and then you got four and five, which will be, let me see, let me see if I can find them. Okay, right here, down here at the bottom, which is a ground right there. That's five, four is here, to straight to the battery, to the negative side, that's your ground. Four, five, then six to this ground, and seven, and seven which is to the block right there. So that's real simple to install. Has a clean look to it. And there it is, guys. That's the install right there. Big three upgrade and the Megman 240 amp alternator. Hope this helped out. And uh, you guys are gonna need it definitely if you guys upgrade the fans and uh, or if you're running a system or anything, that's a weak point and another weak point in the Corvette. So. I uh, hope this helps out. Like, share, subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one.